Hi everyone, it's time for another video. Today's video is going to be on opening the store in the morning. You don't have to remember to do anything. Everything is on the checklist. So you just come in, open the checklist, and give it a start. It's very important to work expeditiously through the morning until it starts to get busy doing the things on the checklist. If you don't get the checklist properly done, you'll run yourself ragged throughout the whole day trying to get everything caught up. So it's really important to do everything on the checklist in the order that it's there. So let's go up and take a look at the checklist. So going down our checklist and follow along with this, the first one is to clock in. Everybody knows how to do that. And then coffee brewed. And then turn on the lamps by both doors. So the lamps over there, lamps back there, all the lamps need to be turned on so it looks open. So once, in order to do a checklist, the way you do a checklist is you do the item and then you check it done. You don't check it done unless you've done it. So clock in, coffee brewed, turn on lamp. So the coffee brewed is over here and there's a separate video on how to do it. For the most part, you want to do a full large batch. So you weigh the coffee here, grind it here, put it in this basket here, and get it going so when the first customer comes in, there's coffee brewed. The second thing you want to do is open your POS, open the shift, set up the drawer, and have change. So if there's a supervisor around, you want to get the change right away. If you need change and you don't have it, then don't check this done. So this is checked done, so we're going to assume that there's change in both drawers, but we're going to go ahead and check anyway. So here in this one, you can see that there's no nickels and there's none over here, although the ones are okay and the fives are okay. But this drawer is not okay because there's no nickels there. So going over to the other drawer, this one is marginally okay. Five is the threshold for when you want to get more coins. And there's none here, although for some reason there's a bunch of pennies that need to be used. But there are ones and fives here so this one is marginally okay. But over here, we do not have change. So this should not be checked off. So we're just going to put a circle there. So that when our supervisor comes in, we can look at the circled stuff, which is all going to need supervisor attention. The next thing, paper and POS printers, backup roll of each kind of paper. This printer is a thermal printer and it takes thermal paper. This is an impact printer and this takes impact paper. This paper is different than this paper. This printer has a ribbon deep down inside. So the ribbon is what prints on the paper. So here's paper down here. And this paper is supposed to be marked with a T for thermal and it's not. So we'll have to get somebody to do that. And there is some paper with ink things. So this is impact printer paper. This is thermal paper right here. So here's the backup paper, so we're good on that, so that can be checked off. When you've got the coffee brewed and the registers set up, it's time to open the store. So we want the open and espresso signs on and the lights on. Any lights that weren't turned on before, you want turned on now, and then both of the doors unlocked. So once this is done, you put a check mark over here. So that's pretty self-explanatory. The open sign on, which is there in the doorway, and all the lights turned on. Then you want to check that the pitcher and the long spoon from the dish pit is up front. So this is checked off, so we're going to assume it's done. Here's the spoon right here. Here's all the pitchers, so you're all ready to make drinks. Turbo Chef on, sandwich board out front near curb weekends only. So we have a sandwich board to put out front, but only on weekends. Turbo Chef on. It's just done right here. Just push the on button and it'll come on. This is the critical item list. And what this is, is a section of about 10 things that you absolutely need to run the store. So coffee, beans for the espresso machine, almond milk, chai tea concentrate, um, eggs, half and half, whipped cream cheese, lettuce and tomato, and then toilet paper and paper towels, and then sugar for the dispenser. This is kept in the front of the book. 
right here. So for checking the critical items, that's where the list is. You just want to go through it. If you need anything that's not on there, you just want to go over to Safeway and pick it up because those are things that if you don't have them, will run into problems. So check critical items right now. It's just handwritten in because we just started doing it because what was happening is people would be out of lettuce or tomatoes and wouldn't know it until they had an order and they'd have to run next door and get it while a customer is waiting. So now we're checking the critical items. When this list is redone, it'll have a slot here. The next thing, make the three sanitizer waters. There's a separate thing on how to do that, but this is checked off, so we're just going to check it. So, yes, we've got water there. Yes, we've got water there. And back here, we see we don't have water. So this bucket needs to be set up with water, which we will have them do. When your supervisor comes in and double checks your checklist and finds things that aren't done on it, but they're checked off anyway, you're gonna have a conversation. So don't check things off until they're done. So back up here, make three sanitizer waters. We're gonna circle that, because that's not done. Set up the condiment bar, beans and hopper of espresso machine. So. The hoppers are looking good with beans. So here's the condiment bar. You can see there's no half and half out. So we're gonna go back and double check. There are also no knives in here, but we happen to be out of knives, so we're not gonna get too upset about that. We've got the three things for customers. We've got sugar, we've got sugar over here. We've got sleeves, we've got straws, we've got lids, but the half and half pitcher belongs here and it's not there. So we're going to get that out. Backup silverware is kept in these drawers. Backup half and half is kept, not half and half, sugar substitute is kept here. So when you're restocking the paper goods here, everything you need should be in these little cupboards. For here, you also want to make sure that the bus tub has been emptied from yesterday, which it has. Okie dokie. So we're back over here. The condiment bar has been checked off and it was not done. So look at all those things that were checked off and not done. It is really important to do the things on the checklist properly or when you get busy, you will run yourself ragged. Set up espresso area, cups, lids, java jackets, and monins. So that would be the cups right here, the lids, the java jackets. Keep your personal stuff out of customer areas. This is not for sale to a customer and this is not for sale to a customer. It's a health code thing to keep your personal stuff out of the area. If we're on the topic, please bring in your own cup for drinks. Thanks, we appreciate it. Cups are expensive, over $100 a case. And if we have four or five people on a shift and each of them has two or three cups, you can see how we can go through cups in a hurry. So please bring in your own cups. Thanks. When you're taking things out of the oven, instead of just blindly taking them out, you want to check that they're done. Now this tray right here looks a little bit light, so we're going to leave this in for another minute. But the rest of the trays look done. See, that's all brown. That one's done. That one's good. But that last one we're going to give an extra five minutes to. The cheese on it isn't quite melted. And they look beautiful, but they're not quite done. So we want to give them an extra minute. So go ahead and... So the way we did this was to turn the oven off altogether with this right here to get it out of the programming cycle. It's at the proper temperature, so we just turn the timer to give it five minutes extra. Make sure that you push this button right here to turn the timer on, otherwise the oven will just sit here and run. And then pretty soon, instead of being underdone, they're actually burned. So that's how you do that. The other side of setting up condiments that you want to check is over here where the drip coffee is. You just want to make sure that there are lids, java jackets, cups, everything is looking good over here. Okay, so here we have the serrated knife up front and we have a couple of spreaders up front and we've got one in this cream cheese. While you're in this case, which we're going to come back to, the next item is to check this case out, but this tub you'll notice is in sideways. They only fit one way. They fit the long way like this very nicely, but somebody has put this in the wrong way. So there's a big, huge gap right here, and cold air just shoots out that gap and it screws things up. So 
if you see something like that pull it out set it in there the right way now it fits and it's the same height as everything just little things like that will make your day a lot easier okay so now we're up to stock the sandwich prep table per par sheet that's going to take a little bit of explaining that's a little bit longer and then the front pastry case set to schematic and the pastry backup per par sheet so i'm going to go ahead and call it quits right now that's a lot to absorb and we'll start part two with these items right here okay see you in a minute here's our bagels that we gave the extra five minutes to don't they look much better good work if there's anything else that needs to be baked, now's the time to do it. If there's not, please turn the oven off so that we don't waste electricity on it. We're going to go ahead and do some eggs, it looks like. The detailed instructions on how to do the eggs are in the book. You want to make sure you do them correctly. Uh, we have accidentally turned this to infinity, which means that it will just run forever, which we can't afford. And we've only got one thing of eggs in here. We want to do four at a time. So we're going to do three more and then pop them in the oven. But we have a whole separate video on doing eggs. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so that's basically the things up front that you need to do for the beginning of the opening checklist. And we're going to do a part two of this video where we're going to start with stocking the sandwich case, which is really important because if you don't, have everything that you need now is the time first thing in the morning to bake it so if you're out of eggs now is the time to be making eggs if there's no bacon now is the time to get it out if there's no ham now is the time to get it out so it is really really important to work on all these things first thing in the morning so that when the rush hits especially on a saturday you're ready and you're not running yourself ragged so thanks for paying attention the checklists are very important they keep you from having to remember anything just follow along with them and everything will go smoothly all day all right see you in a minute